Hello everyone, this is Mukundan Raghavan and this video we are going to see how to do the CI-CD with GitHub Actions for our test automation framework. Whenever we create the test automation framework, we will be executing in local when we create it. However, in the long run, we should be running our test automation inside the cloud by using the CI-CD pipelines. What is CI-CD? CI-CD is the continuous integration and continuous deployment or delivery. Let's see, there are different tools we have for the CI-CD. What are those for the playrate? Let's go to the documentation and try to understand more. If you go to the playrate for CI-CD, we have the different options. GitHub Actions, Docker, Azure Pipeline, Circle CI, Jenkins, Bitbucket Pipelines, GitLab CI, Google Cloud Build, and so on. We are going to take the GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is the CI-CD platform and automation platform for running our test automation pipeline. In all of these CI-CD platforms, we will be given with virtual machine where we will be running our test automation suite. For example, currently I might be running in my local, but what if, if I get the, a new laptop or new system, I will be running there. The same way, it will be happening inside the cloud. So how to enable that? If you go to the GitHub repository, you will be having the different tabs like code issues, pull request. Inside that, you will be having the tab called actions. In order to run our pipeline or our workflows, we need to create a separate file inside our repository. For that, if you go to our folder, you need to create .github slash workflows. Inside that, you need to create the workflow files. This workflow files will be having the extension called .yaml, .yml. And how to create this content for the YAML file. However, again, the Playwright documentation will help us. If you go to the Playwright documentation, especially for the CA GitHub actions, even these links will be provided in the description. You can see there are different ways we can set up. For example, you need to run this entire test automation based on different conditions. It can be the push or pull request. For example, here you can see it will be the push options whenever the push happens inside the branch of main or master or whenever the pull request happens for the branches main or master. These are the two triggering conditions for this workflow to be on. Let's go one by one. So if you go through this, let's see on condition. So that means that on which condition it has to work. Push conditions or branches, pull request on these branches. If any one of this happens, this workflow will be triggered. So then we will be having the different jobs. Here we are going to do the test. Then what is the timeout? 60 minutes and runs on Ubuntu latest. Generally, we can give the different systems. Even we can give our own self-hosted system, which means you might be having the cloud already in that cloud. If you have the virtual mission, even you can configure that. However, here GitHub Actions does not need any pre-configured things like this. Directly, you can run your automation in any one of the system. It will be free of cost based on your subscription. I am having the free subscription. Still, I can run on Ubuntu latest version. Then we have the different steps. So what are the steps? The first steps will tell us to check out the code. What is the code? Whichever the file we are using, this file present in this automation or this repository, this total repository will be checked out. Then we are setting up the node version or let's say setting up the node. Then the node version will be 18. Then next one, we are taking the another step, which is install dependencies. For this, we are running the terminal command called npm ci. Then again, we have the another step called install playwright browsers. For this, we are running the terminal command npx playwright install iPhone iPhone with the dependencies. Then another step will be npx playwright test. Obviously, we are running in the same project. It will be running all the test classes or all the tests inside our project. Then last one uses again. This is the action again. This action upload the artifacts to our temporary folder. But on what basis? If any error happens or if any issue happens, still it will upload because you mentioned if always means no matter if it is failing or passing in the above conditions, still it will upload all the artifacts to our workflow. Then from where it has to take it, it will be taking from the playwright report in the same project folder. It will be taking all the playwright report folder contents and it will just add it to the artifacts. Where to see the artifacts that we will be seeing in within few seconds. These artifacts will be there in our cloud for 30 days. So these are the configuration we are just setting up inside our workflow file. After setting up everything, just go to the repository. And before going to the repository, obviously we will be committing this code to the repository, then go to the repository, go to the code and make sure you have the same file here, YAML file. We have everything, then go to the actions. Then just run the action. You might be having empty here. Just you can click on that action and you can run it. For example, I have already run it. 
let's imagine i want to run it one more time just click on the workflow file and here you can run it again the same workflow file is there here you can see all the test and here we mentioned test because the job starts with test right let's imagine i want to run it one more time so rerun it is asking for the confirmation to run everything from the test yes here you can see the main.yaml file has been taken however this will be automatically running when you push the code but i am not pushing any code i am just running manually if you want to run by pushing the code just make some changes in your repository and try to push from your vs code it will automatically trigger this if you just want to see what are the changes are happening in this just click on the test and here you can see there are a lot of things are happening let's go one by one first one set up the job so obviously it will be setting up all the jobs and we are not giving any details about the ubuntu latest it is automatically taking from the cloud here you can see it is taking some operating system ubuntu and what is the version everything will be taken care by the github actions basically it is taking the new system for you with os ubuntu then it is checking out the code so here you can see it is checking out the code and putting into the temporary folder basically it is checking out all our code from our repository then here it will set up the node version and what are those details you can see node version npm and yarn in install dependencies, it will be taking all our package.json contents and it will install necessary libraries. Then obviously it will be the npx playwright install with the dependency. So it will install all the browsers. Here you can see it is downloading the Chromium. It is downloading the playwright. It's downloading the other browsers, Firefox and WebKit. Then running the playwright test, whatever the console messages also it's coming here and everything is completed, it is uploading to our artifact. After this run, we will see where this uploader artifacts are there. We can use it for later purpose. Now everything completed, job completed. Here you can see the status as green. That means that everything went fine. CACD check. And status, you can see how long it took and one artifact, which we pushed it. And here you can see artifacts playwright report if you just click on that it will download the zip file and go to the downloads and here you can see zip file just right click extract all and if you just open the index.html go to the past scenario here you can see the same steps and the screenshots and the videos as well if you just click on that you will see the login scenario, basic login scenario. But in your case, you might be having the different test cases. Again, going back to here. Here you can see every summary. And even if you want to see some debug information, you can see. And if you want to see the workflow file again, here also you can see the workflow file so that you can see what is happening. Even you don't need to go again every time to the code. So this way we can simply set up the GitHub actions to run our playwright test. There are some points to be noted. If your application is secured and if it has any limitations on the IP range, because most of the time our application might run in our local because all our system might be configured or having the proper firewall and whitelisted things will be inside our network or maybe in our laptops. However, if you run your application in pipeline, you need to understand it runs on the totally new system which is given by the GitHub Actions until unless you have your own virtual machine. So when you try to open some application inside the new system with the new OS, there might be a security constraints where you will be getting the one-time password. So that time you need to handle with your application team or you need to handle with your virtual machine team so that you can fix it. We have seen to enable our CI/CD workflows, we need to create a folder called .github slash workflows. Inside that, we have created the main.yaml file. By using this one, we have just configured the same file and we went to the GitHub Actions, to the tab GitHub Actions, we saw the same file and if you run it, it will work automatically without any issues. So this is all about this video. 
and always be a rainbow in others cloud